Hey y'all, it's Carl. Carl and Dawn's Homestead. I am back. Today is Monday, October 9th, 2018. And today I'm going to cook a dish that mom used to cook when we were coming up. Southern style, Louisiana style, Cajun style. It was mama style of smothered chicken. Like many of you, as we grew up, we continued our, the way it was done back then. Let me get set up and we're going to show you how we're going to do this, guys. Don't go nowhere. Alright, y'all. For our smothered chicken dinner, we're going to use two onions. We're going to put some uh, salt, pepper, can't forget the Tony Sacheries. And a sprinkle a little bit um, parsley flakes on it and we're going to use minced garlic. And today I'm going to add some smoked sausage to it. Give it a little more flavor. Anyway, we grew up on smothered chicken and there's a lot of ways of preparing smothered chicken. Some people use flour for thicker gravies and stuff like that. Not me. Just like Mama used to do it, we're just going to cook it down in our onions uh, in water. And we're going to add our sausage and our chicken and our spices and uh, go from there. Let me get set up and show you what we're going to do. Alright guys, we had a pack of uh, chicken legs, drumsticks, whatever you want to call them laying around, so I'm going to use that. You can use any type of chicken you want, mixed uh, parts or whatever, but today I'm going to use chicken legs. So, let me add my water and show you what I'm doing. Alright guys, I cut up my two onions. I didn't cut them, I didn't chop them up into small pieces, I just cut them and uh, they're, they're pretty big. What I want to try and do is cook it down to where the uh, water and the... Um, Onions make like an onion gravy, but it's just not it's not going to have any flour in it or anything like that But we're just going to smother it just like that and um, we're going to add our spices All right, I'm going to add a About a teaspoon of minced garlic Okay, now we're going to add Maybe up to a, a teaspoon of salt I'm going to go with a teaspoon of black pepper well maybe a little bit more <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and add our about a tablespoon of Tony Sachery's season. And guys, before I forget, I may add just a little bit. Parsley flaked. And we're going to go ahead and stir it. Mix it all up. And let the cooking do what it's doing. Do what it's supposed to do, actually. Now, it does take a while to cook. But after you boil it. And then uh, bring it to a uh, low fire. And let it cook down you'll see the difference. Don't go nowhere guys. Alright guys, it's boiling now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it boil. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And we're going to let it boil for 10 minutes. Just like that. We're going to keep an eye on it. Make sure that it doesn't overflow. If it overflows out of the pot, then you have a mess on your hands. We don't want that. Anyway, we're going to cover it, but we're going to leave it a little bit of crack in it like that. 
Don't go nowhere. Ow! Alright guys, it's been 10 minutes. The uh, timer went off. Now we're going to go ahead and lower our fire. Put it on low. And we're going to go ahead at this point and we're going to go ahead and add our sausage. Uh, don't go in the wind. Might help if I put it on low. Give it a stir. You want to make sure that your chicken don't stick to the bottom of the pot. So just stir it every now and then. Keep an eye on your water and uh, let that baby cook down. Okay. Fire's on low, and we're going to go ahead and let it smother down, and we'll be back with you guys. What we want to do is make sure that we check the uh, water uh, at least frequently in here. We don't want the water to evaporate, so uh, don't go away. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. Still cooking, but it's done, and I left it on a. Don't know if you can see this, but it's on a medium low fire, and the uh, chicken is done. As you can see, the gravy that the onions and the chicken made, and the sausage made, and some of you might be asking, why didn't he put any cooking oil or anything like that in it? Because my chicken makes the grease, and of course the sausage helped make the grease. But anyway. This over rice, I'm going to show you how it looks over rice, and uh, it's really delicious. I already tested it, and it's uh, really tasty. I enjoy this dish, like it, and um, don't go nowhere. Let me uh, get the rice cooked, and then we'll go from there. Alright, y'all, there's the smothered chicken with rice and gravy. Onions, smothered down in onions. And uh, as always, I always add Louisiana red hot sauce onto uh, a lot of my foods. And there you have it. Guys, we hope you subscribe to our channel. You can like and comment on our videos. It helps us out a lot. Until next video, we'll see you guys later. I'm out of here. I'm going to get something to eat. See you later, guys.